Hey guys, welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. I'm Stacy. Today I am wearing Chloe by Envy in the color Cream Coffee. <music> In this video, I'm continuing with my series of my first wigs. Chloe was the fourth wig that I ever bought. I first tried this wig on at Bravada, a wig shop, and it was the first one that I tried on that had a lace front and a mono part, and I just loved it. And I didn't buy it that day because I still hadn't even received my first wig. Felicia. So I left there without this that day, only pictures, knowing that I would own this wig someday. So Chloe is a kind of long bob. She does have some light layering. Chloe's got the dimensions. I'm going to put them up on the screen because I don't know them off the top of my head. But it's like 10 something and then 8 something on the sides and then 5 and something in the nape. So what that creates is a lot of weight down here. When I first put her on, it's real full. And so you kind of have to um, play with her. And I like to like kind of comb this down, down here, and then and use that permatease because if you do, I mean, it. she has got so, so much body and movement and you can really um, get that, oh, John Renault has that contour cream, I think it's called, and I haven't, I haven't put any in her yet, but I can see where if I worked some of that cream in, I could really get that style to stay up where I want it. It is a really cute wig. If you go to, there's another YouTuber, Kath, of Atypical 60. She has several Chloe's and hers are so cute on her. She really gets some good body and um, texture in hers. She's much better at doing hair than I am. <laughs> I kind of expect my wigs to do all the work. So I'm, I'm still learning um, how to best style this one. I will say this Envy cap does not fit me as well as say an Aesthetica or even a John Renault. And John Renault are kind of on the small side for me, even the average cap. So Envy is even a little bit tighter. And I find um, like I don't get as great as coverage um, along the sides here. The ear tabs are um, a little wimpy. And um, also this lace front, the it's kind of pluggy. And this is the only wig that I have that is rooted. And I'm not drawn to rooted wigs uh, since I've gotten this one actually because, and I think it's just my fair skin. I, I think these look so good on everybody else, which is why I bought it. But I just don't think it's for me. And that's the great thing about all these different wig companies and caps and styles and colors is that there's something out there for everybody. And so for me, I think these Envy caps are just a little on the small side. And I I think I, I just like a more substantial ear tab. And I think that's just a personal preference. I don't think that there's anything wrong with these. Just for me, I like that substantial ear tab to grab onto and and then push in and and I just really like that secure fit of a good ear tab. Let's talk about this color. Creamed coffee is gorgeous. It hits all the the tag words that I look for. Golden blonde, golden brown, copper. And they are definitely all evident. It is so pretty. And 
And look how nice that part is. I have a light colored wig cap on, so that's that's probably what we can see here, but I mean, it's such a great part. But I just, I love this color. And in the natural light, I mean, it does look pretty strawberry blonde. My walls um, are kind of peachy, so I know that that gives a, a cast of light on everything. But I think creamed coffee is a really pretty um, golden blonde with that hint of the strawberry in it. And when I have it up on my shelf with all the other reddish strawberry wigs like Aesthetica's R30 2826, John Renault's Strawberry Syrup, uh, Raquel Welch's Glaze Strawberry. I'm always looking for this one to be more blonde when I go to see what I want to wear. And this just blends right in with those other reds. So this light, you know, every, every computer, every, um, even the room you're sitting in might make this look a little bit different, but I think this is a really pretty strawberry blonde. I just, the only thing would be if you have this, this skin tone, um, these knots would be the only thing that may not work if you are a natural strawberry blonde and so your skin tends to go to the more fair side, then that's, that's the only thing. Um, I need to go back and look if creamed coffee is always rooted or if we can get it not rooted because I love this color and I would probably order another Envy regardless of how I feel about this cap because I love this color so much. But I just find that I'm not reaching for this wig as often uh, as I did when I first got it. And I think it's just because I'm I'm ordering wigs on a regular basis. So anytime I get a new one in, then that's the one that I wanna wear all the time. And so I'm kinda of glad that I did this um, feature review today because I've been wearing it around and playing with it and um, remembering why I bought it and it's how much I like it. I think I got this one, well yeah, if it's my fourth one, I had Felicia and then Scarlet and then Aspen. And when I got this one in, this was actually the one that I would wear to family dinners when I was kind of just getting everybody used to the fact that I was wearing wigs. This was what I was most comfortable in because it was the closest. It wasn't shiny. That's the other thing. This is not a shiny wig when you buy it. This is a, a dryer. I mean, it really kind of gives you that real hair feel. The other thing about this wig that I really like is the texture of it. It's kind of a drier texture and I like that because my natural hair was never silky, smooth, thick hair. It was always fine, frizzy. And it always had a lot of texture. So this is a comfortable look for me. And when I had more hair, I, I would have this haircut if, if I could have. So I'm real comfortable with this texture. I like the dryness. Also, I think that the, the texture of it, I keep saying that word, um, allows it to, along with that permatease, allows you to be able to get some lift and some wave. If you look online, it shows um, in the picture, it looks more curly. And uh, mine did not come that way. I mean, it's got some wave to it, but you just have to, you have to mess with it. Also, if you were to wear it all day, it would be a good idea to bring a comb with you because, because of that dryness, it does tangle easy. I love this wig though. It's a really pretty wig. I love the color. I'm comfortable in it. This has been Chloe by Envy in the color Creamed Coffee. I hope you try it. And next week will be my fifth and final video for this series of my first wigs. And I'll kind of recap all the wigs that I bought. Most of these, I think the first five are good to do for this series because 
they were the ones that I bought like all in July when I was just first learning about everything. And I really thought that I was looking for one wig. And so I was buying from different companies, different styles and different colors. And so at that time I, I thought I was finding the one. So they kind of came fast and furious there for a month. And then now I've realized I want all of the wigs and I'm not going to stop buying wigs anytime soon. <laughs> so, and I wanted, I want to wear different styles and I, I want to try different colors. And, and now with, I just want to have fun with them. I've slowed way down and uh, really can pick out what wigs I really want. So I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And I'd love to know what you think about this wig and if you've tried Envy Wigs and what you think about the cap and if you've tried Chloe and what color you have, what you think about her. Okay guys, see you next week.